What's up guys, it's Tusk here, and so today we're back at it again with CK3, and this time I'm going to show you how to get the best possible council at the start of the game. Now if we just quickly jump into a game here, and I'll show you exactly how that's done. Now, if the, for the, the highest stated council here, and we look at what the possible highest is, the highest here is 12, which is not necessarily that impressive. Same with our Chancellor, it's only 11. Our marshal we actually have a pretty decent marshal here that it's the same as our spy master so he could technically swap out depending on what our options are and then we also have the spy master now the first thing to recognize is obviously your chancellor your steward and your marshal in most religions can only be men especially in catholicism so we just quickly make it. all of this is catholic this is obviously 1066 though but uh so that's something to watch out for but that means that your spy master can be a woman which just gives us a lot more freedom in that sense so if we just quickly find one of our knights he's obviously our steward as well and we marry him and turn off fertility so it doesn't matter what age they are and we just quickly uh, click uh, intrigue we'll notice that we have a 17 spy marker here now before you do this you'll want to go to one of your courtiers now surprisingly we actually do not have many courtiers uh, this time around uh, quite unlucky that way but we have some we can actually recruit so any of the women you'll want to recruit them uh, because they then they, they have you can marry them to impressive uh, voices obviously in the holy roman empire so that's gonna happen so now that we've got that we can quickly go back into it for our courtiers and we can marry them off to specific uh, skills so we notice again that our intrigue, the highest intrigue options we have is actually 14. We do not want that low. So we notice that the woman who was at it before, if we just go to our steward, had way had a much higher stat, 17 over 14. We obviously want her, so we just send a proposal and she'll come to our court. We can quickly go to our council and we can hire her. Now, obviously he's here, so we'll want to swap him over to have the 19 just in case. And then we're going to fire him instead so that we don't get a modifier of that. And now we have a 17 spy master. And you repeat this process with all of them. So if we can now go to our other uh, one and we can go and find stewardship. 18 stewardship here. And then 18 diplomacy. He's also a giant which you can then pass on and breed genetics into your courtiers. Uh, so we'll just quickly hire him as a chancellor. Make sure it's matrilineal so that he comes to the court rather than her leaving, which will happen sometimes. Uh, and then we just quickly go here, and now we have an 18 chancellor. And we can do the same, repeat this process over and over again. Obviously, I'm going to do it for sure as well. And just go with her, and now all of a sudden, we have an 18 shirt. Now, the other process that you can do is if we go find any, do we have anyone else? I don't think we do. So I'll just use my channel for this, just to give an example. If we go to Prow S, make sure everything's off, we can click on them and find out that we can get some pretty damn insane knights. Now, as far as I'm aware, if you have a marshal that has the legendary blade master or a blade master, and you set them to your to uh, train commanders, they will teach your other knights and have a higher chance for the other knights to also become blade masters. Um, that I might not be correct on that, but I'm pretty sure it is, and that gives you a pretty damn head start. But the first thing you want to do is make sure your marshal is insane and immediately put them to train commanders, because then your knights are going to be ins insanely good. The more knights you have, the higher quality your army, and the way better things go on. You're in a much stronger situation, and you don't have to rely so much on men at arms, which can be really expensive. So another thing I wanted to mention is that obviously if you can somehow find a Moetha to divorce your wife you see her stats are not that amazing she has no continental traits she has no major advantages of course her marshal and her diplomacy aren't terrible so if you are going into combat individually as we have a really hard marshal here then we could gain an extra five marshal which could add up to quite a bit of an advantage now the second thing i want to mention if you have a liege i don't think this is how the game is meant to work and you click assist ruler here and you see how you have these options if you, while this while this lobby is open if you click on your liege's council it leaves your own liege's wife open so let's say they're set almost always are set to assist ruler but you can now operate how your liege works 
So say you want to set them so that they have higher stewardship, so that they get more money, and then in turn you'll get more money. Or say you want to control how they, uh, how much martial they have, so they're less likely to lose wards, uh, etc. So they have more levies, and you're in a safer position. You get to choose that. I'm not sure if this is the game is meant to work. I doubt it, but that is something you can control, which is quite interesting, I must say. Um, and obviously, like I said before, if you can divorce your wife, go to wherever you can. I'll just show you one more time, and then just obviously click some of all skills, and you'll get the top uh, at, the, at the very top. Now, if you're in the east, in this kind of area, we'll just switch character. Sometimes one of the things I've noticed is that if you go to court, let me just find someone, and you sit, turn off fertility and all that, and hit learning. What you'll find is that some of them actually have, usually they're older, they'll have traits of learning and they'll have the wise, yeah, the wise or mystic trait. This dramatically, seems to dramatically increase your chances of uh, having no difficulties with illnesses. I've had some of them be 31, 32 uh, learning and they've been able to cure the bubonic plague, which uh, through the weird ulterior methods uh, option. Uh, whether it works every time, I couldn't tell you. It's happened to me once or twice, but because uh, the bionic plate doesn't happen very often. But uh, that, as far as I'm aware, really, really can help. Now, the other thing with that is that you can do this to find people to educate your children uh, through stronger means. So, say you have, you've got your child. Child is 13 years old. They've got all the personality traits that you wanted to choose. You can now remove that and choose someone else to be. Uh, to teach them with a higher skill gap, higher learning, uh, higher, stronger uh, education trait, maybe they're genius as well, and uh, you're in a much better spot that way. And shrewd as well, obviously, because it increases their chances of getting something beneficial. Uh, so that is it for <laughs> for that. That is how you get the, the strongest council at the start of the game, and the easiest method to it. So anyway, that's all I wanted to show you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.